the 43,000 seat Pantanal Stadium is almost finished, with workers frantically applying the final touches. Good news for the FIFA inspectors. But it's a very different story in the rest of Guiba, the smallest World Cup venue in the heart of the booming agricultural Mato Grosso state. Antonio says the city in the geographical centre of South America has turned into a construction and traffic nightmare. This is a small neighbourhood street, which all the traffic has to go through. Residents are really angry. It gets worse every day. This 22-kilometre rail link was supposed to join the airport to the city centre, but is months, possibly years, from completion. This is another block street. We'll have to go two streets up. Imagine if during the World Cup all of this is blocked. I hope they have a magic wand. Brazil was granted the World Cup more than six years ago. So has all gone according to plan? No, there's been no time to complete some of the works, but the most important ones, for the tourists to get around, will be finished. Guiba's plans were ambitious, not helped by heavy bureaucracy and a corruption scandal involving the arrest of the state governor. Of all the 12 World Cup venues, Cuiabá is the one doing the most work to improve the city. But Brazilian law makes it very difficult to move quickly. We're lost. We'll have to go back the way we came, or we'll get even more lost. This is one of the main access roads to the stadium. There are no welcome banners, no football posters, little evidence that Cuiabá's half a million or so population with little in the way of a footballing tradition, has been infected by World Cup fever. So the stadium's almost ready, but as we can see, the city authorities have not met the challenge of finishing the rest of the work on time. The football will kick off, but there's going to be a high price to pay. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Guiba, Brazil.